taking Dragonov in the matchup rather than uh, Kazumi. And again, this battle is going to be an interesting one. So two of the players uh, out of Korea who have been pretty consistent on the Tekken World Tour placing very well, both unsponsored, but we'll see how much longer that can last. I feel like it's only a matter of time for one of these guys. Do you guys remember the time? Fight. All right, here we go. Opening up with a Razor here. Nice. Look at the sidewalking from Dimeback here. Like I said, Dimeback gets these times when he's on a roll, tries to go for the parry, get off the head. Don't touch really? the parry, you crazy? Reversal. Nice break on the throw there. One of the few characters that has a throw that goes into juggle state. A gets the wall here, the adjustment there with the wall standing four. Again, continuing the offense. Oh, thought he was gonna go for that down two again. Yeah. You see him go for the can can. Yeah, he went for the can can. You know, can can is a good option versus most moves. It will beat out lows, it will beat out throws, of course, or anything with the later active window. So that was a good option for the dime back. Just unfortunately, Kokuma not committing, not not uh, going in carelessly, oh. I should say. Running two, gonna get the wall with this one, one, two, one, no. Okay. The delay. Oh man, look at that. This, this offense is just smothering dime back right now. Dimeback's gonna have to figure out what to do here. And you see him going for reversal. You can see Dimeback going for a lot of pressure. I feel like the strongest strategy here for Dimeback is probably to be a bit more compact. He's doing a lot of moves here that are getting him in trouble. Right? But you don't want to be at that range. Nice magic four gets the four two right after. And, and really the problem is with Asuka is she doesn't really have compact moves. She is on the slower move set uh, for a lot of the generic books that she has. Yeah, you actually have to swing and get stuff started with yeah. the character. Them and swingers. Yeah. Even at standing two with a lot oh, of Oh, two fairies straight up. But he drops the combo. He's been dropping that the entire day. Going for that 4-4-2 four, four, follow-up. Not able to get it. And, and a lot of the Dimeback setups are all about swinging after it. And Kakoma's not taking the bait. Oh, yeah. The evasive punch as well. Not falling for that again. Look at that. Just counter, counter hit. Boom, boom, boom. Three rounds straight. A no round brown for my boy Kakoma. Yeah. To the water. Why not? Yeah, big bottle of water. But Dimeback, what you gonna do? Stage select. All right, Devil's Pit. And you saw him give a little head now, like, ah, crap. I don't wanna be here. Boy. 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 Man, that game is sick. All right, let's see what he does different. I feel, like you said before, Definitely has to play a little bit more compact if he's going to want to do something versus Kakoma. And Kakoma is looking sharp. But that's the, that's in itself, that is the problem is her compact mode sucks. Mm -hmm. So he really is going to have to get the right reads. He's going to have to take, I hate to say it, he's going to have to take some risk. We didn't see him go for a big sweep. We didn't see him go for any down four twos or back threes really in the matchup. I mean, we obviously know Dragonov has the tools to deal with those moves. But Kakoma's movement is another thing. The fact that he goes to this range where you don't want to mess with him. Oh, he went for Can Can again. This time getting swatted out of the air. Oh, oh big. This gets is the follow up. Yeah, he gets, he gets a combo this time. This is going to hurt. He's yep. probably going to get the wall. Very close to it. A couple more mix ups. He should be able to seal the deal. But Dragonov within range Ooh, distance. Oh, he got it. The down back 4 4. I like it. Good stuff to Dimeback. Able to finally get around here on the scoreboard. Okay, gets ticked out of the air. Again. But he's going to get the wall there too. Oh, just shy of it. Oh, tried to go for the counter, not gonna work. Once again, more oh. swing. Went for the delayed counter. And Kakoma's still at the ready. Slide, too close to the wall. Punish again. Kakoma sharp. Down two. This might be Cal. while standing four. Oh man. Yeah, they're just using the tip of it too, just enough range. Able to close it out, but die back again. Not looking good. After that first brilliant round here opening up the match, hasn't really really been able to capitalize off that momentum. All right, tries to go for the up 4-4. Four, four. All right, more lows. Tries to swing. And once again, the back dash from Kakoma is just keeping him out of danger. Oh! One round of peace in this game, too. And I want to see what Dimeback is going to do to try to bring it. Oh, nice. gets it this time. Oh, oh the wall side wall still kind of messed up. But gets the follow-up with the Tooth Fairy into the grab. What's he going to do afterwards? Oh, oh wow. He caught him. Yeah, up 4-3, tracking. Gets the wall because it gets Good the block. hit. Looking to close it out. The one plus four. Or the back one plus four, I should say. Able to close it out there with a the built-in mix-up. All right, two rounds here for Dimeback. And this is what I was talking about. Nice side step early. Swiping at the feet. Up, up four, four, three. three. Should have can't can. Oh, wow, Speaking the delay of, hit. I need a two-pack for me and the boy. Uh-huh. No, not falling for it. Oh, big launch punish there off the two fairy. That is launch punishable. Yeah, Dimeback getting a little too loose. And that's going to put Kakoma back in it. Two, three, follow up. What's he going to do? Down back three. Looking to close it out here. He has the round within reach. 
What's he gonna do? Alright. Oh, oh my gosh! I can't believe he went for that. Yo, that mid throw. They great. trade blows. Who's gonna get it? Rage drive into down. the down four. I like it. Dimeback staying alive here. I love that throw from Oscar. Pull him in, stand there. Don't swing, you get hit. And now you see there's a there's a breather being taken right now before oh. we hit back. Character select screen? Uh oh. No now, way. What's he gonna do? Is he would you now, uh, now, one thing about uh, Asuka versus Kazumi is that that up-close game is going to change. And I feel like that's what Kakoma's about to do. The up-close game changes, but now that means Asuka's going to be able to whip punish a little more. Because Kakoma, if he picks, picks I think Kazumi, he's going he's gonna to have to swing I'm going to think something crazy. I think he's either going to stick to Dragonov or he's going to pick Paul. Oh, wow. Paul? Yes. Oh, he's taunting. He's like, pick it, pick it, hurry up. What? Woo! Oh, he picked the other. He picked the other white guy. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Geese. He has to have something. He better have something. That's a bold pick. But I feel like Geese beats a lot of people up because they're not too familiar with the well, matchup. Well, Geese's off or explosive power offensively. It doesn't matter who you're fighting against. That'll work against any character. I also feel like he's going to be able to... Uh, Kakoma might need to be careful because he's going to be swinging a lot more. That's going to open up a lot more chance for reversals from Dimeback. Well, I know a lot of people are asking why. We're about to find out. I guess, hey, look, obviously he must know something we don't. He is Tell a me why. Ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing but it. Let's go. I ain't gonna say heartbreak just yet, man. You no, never no, know. no, no. You never know. It could go either way. We don't even know who the hero of this story is yet. So I didn't know that he actually refers to the Kazama lineage. Yes, he says that uh, whether it's Mishima, Jin yeah. or, or, yeah. Because he'll say Mishima or Kazuma. Mm -hmm. I think that's sick. I didn't know he did it for her. Oh, yeah. Running one. What you gonna do? Pump and pedal. Gosh, that's not even a natural combo there. Oh, 412 on the wall. And he got a meter on top of it. I don't know what to say. It's not looking good for Young Dive back right now. Not just that. There's a because of the meter, he now has access to that 14 frame launcher combo. The back three two cancel. Repuke. That boy, he throws a fireball like a boss. Yeah, man. He's like, I just found this in my pocket. Take some of the spare change. Damn. Oh, oh wow. he dropped. Stand up. Okay, again with the portable ones too. See my dude fishing. A little later, and it would have worked. And that's a gr the beauty of that move, that 412. It makes his lows work. Yep. Okay, downstairs. What are we gonna do? Come on, puke. No, it's up to keep him up there. That should close it out. And dime back on life support right now. Kokuma threatening to take this three straight rounds with the surprise geese pick. Okay. Oh. Big tracking move. Uh, it's a tooth fairy on the ground. Tries to go for wrist chuck. Oh, into the follow up. Tries to now, go for a power crush. Other way. Other way. What's he going to do? I like the fact that he hit the swing, especially because that max mode was still there. Could have got you in trouble. Tooth fairy. That was a good uh, whip punish. But the wall. The wall definitely screwed it up. Uh, four, three. Uh oh, dying back. Not done yet. Dying back saying, you know what? You can pick geese all you want. That's cute and no. all. Got Mike trying to, you know, wipe yeah, out. I, I got a leather onesie on. What you gonna do? Uh oh. I would definitely wear those pants. I'd wear the geese outfit, bro. Well, oh, oh, the geese outfit? Yeah, you can pull that off. Definitely can pull that off. You All probably right. have that outfit at home. Don't lie to me, Steve. Down 4 3. All right, see, so, he definitely has it out. I, I might have it at home, Mark. Whatever. All right. Oh, get off of me, little girl. Don't you touch the crime boss of South City? You crazy? South Town, baby. What's up? Uh oh. 1 1 2. Follow oh. good block, bad punish. Remember, she gets a full launch. Everyone gets a full launch after that. But man, right now, Dimeback fighting. Final, final round between these two. What I say, this compact play is something that can definitely help Dimeback out. And I oh, feel yeah. like in this matchup, it's not too bad. Well, that's the thing. She's not fighting against Dragonov anymore. She can play like this. See that wall? Oh, the nice. back three finally shows up. The wall, wall no. just shy of the splat. Nice block. 1 1 2. Down Oh, down 2. Here we go. This, this could be big for Dimeback. Oh, oh the cancel and the follow up here. He can probably kill off this. If he breaks the. Oh my gosh! Dead. Oh, oh, he missed it! I can't believe he missed it! What's going on? Oh, oh that's, that's it. it! It's over! Dimeback taking it! I told you! What did I say? 
dime back goals on these runs. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to stop. Yo, look at Saint. Saint's face looking right at me with the. <laughs> Saint is so happy. Man, I love to make it. Anything what do you think the Saint, Saint is? Happy. What do you think he said? I don't know, man. You like girls, huh? Not this one. Ugh.